वेलकम बैक टू फिजिक्स की दृष्टि इन द सीरीज ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन टूडे वी विल लर्न बी टेक इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ईच क्वेश्चन कैरी सिक्स मार्क्स दैट मीन सिक्स मार्क्स इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड टूडे वी विल कवर अवर थर्ड यूनिट दैट नेम इज बेंथियरियन सेमी कंडक्टर सो लेट स्टार्ट हाउ मैनी इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आर इम्पोर्टेंट इन दिस यूनिट लेट्स कवर इट आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन and in our series this is the 11th questions what is effective mass effective mass kya hai of an electron and derive an expression of the effective mass of an electron in valence and conduction band so first of all what is effective mass of electron define it and then derive the expression that means derivation question we have so first of all what is the effective mass very simple definition we have mass of electron under influence of a periodic potential everyone know under the influence of periodic potential what happen the electron mass is not a constant it can vary and due to this periodic potential the mass influence and that material or that particular mass is called as effective mass how to describe it so everyone know in the material or in the crystal electron is moving through the crystal or any kind of material it experiences the internal forces due to positive ions and other electron because suppose this is the material there are several positive ions and electrons are there so they are due to several electrons and several ions electrons in uh, experiences so many internal forces and hence the original mass of electrons seems to change and the change whatever change or that called as a effective mass of electron so whatever change in that particular mass that's called what effective mass so effective mass can be a positive or can be a negative also wo bad bhi sakta hai aur kam bhi ho sakta hai let's try to derive it so first for a free electron we can write e is equal to p square by 2m and p is equal to what p is equal to h cut say k so can we write e is equal to just put the p value h cut k square divided by 2m and now try to differentiate our equation number 1 del e by del k with respect to k so k square differentiation is what 2k so what we have 2 2 and 2 cancel out h cut square by m again second order differentiation so k differentiation with respect to k is 1 so only remaining is h cut square by m and this multiply h cut square by this side so 1 by h cut square del e by del k square is equal to 1 by m this is our equation number 1 for a free electron and m star this one now every time we will compare the equation with the equation number 1 okay this is not a 1 okay so just remember the left hand side and what we have a right hand side and now first of all let's try to write for a conduction line so when electron is here the energy is e and the lower energy is ec and this is what this is your conduction band so when electron in a conduction band we already know e is equal to h cut square k square divided by 2 mn let's suppose this quantity is a constant so energy is related to k square so can we write e is proportional to k square so here energy is e minus ec is a k square and why c1 constant because due to mass is vary whatever value of mass that reflect in the constant c1 so ec is the energy at the bottom of the conduction band so when k is zero suppose the k is zero that means e is equal to ec that means here and if k is not equal to zero then somewhere electron is here 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 that means k is greater than ec sorry e is greater than ec now try to simplify take the double differentiation with respect to k of this equation number 2 so del e by del k so k square differentiation is what 2k got the idea take the again differentiation what we get k respect to k is 1 so only 2c1 and now multiply 1 by h cut square both hand side so what we get this so see this is left hand side and this is same left hand side from the equation number 1 so equivalent our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 3 so 1 by m is equal to 1 by h cut square 2c so m is equal to what this this is positive in a manner so c1 is a positive of mass of electron in a conduction band and now let's try to find out for a valence band for a valence band this is what ev and this is e so the range is what ev minus e and this is your valence band so similarly ev minus e and c2 k square c2 is a constant again 
try to differentiate it so whenever we are taking the differentiation del e by del k obviously minus because e has a negative sign same k square differentiation is 2k and again differentiation k is 2k is 1 this is and again 1 by h cut square multiply see again left hand side is the same of equation number 1 so equivalent equation number 1 and equivalent equation number 6 what we get m is equal to minus h cut square divided by 2c so c2 is a positive in a manner so that's why here we have a negative sign so mass of electron can be negative in valence band so this is equation number 7 and uh, previously equation number i think 6 not 6 4 that is your uh, connection band and this equation for your valence band okay so these two derivations are needed and up to this you got 6 out of 6 marks in this important question now next question derive the concentration of electron in a conduction band of a semiconductor material see again derivation question concentration in of electron in a conduction band that means we already know this is your conduction band this is your valence band and we have to find how many number of electrons concentration that means how many number of electrons are present in the conduction band okay so let's try to derive this equation with the help of fermi level see f of e that is your fermi level any by ge GE was GE was your density of state. This is GE, and the equation is uh, taken by directly for the conduction band GC is this one. Okay, so our target is n. So can I write n is equal to f of, or we can cite g of e and multiply f of e. f of e is a Fermi level. We already know the value of Fermi level, and g g value is this one because we have to find in the conduction band that's why we are taking gc value got the idea now put the value of gc and put the value of fermi level here and find the n value let's try to find out they are writing same n of e is equal to gc into f of e and what is the value of f of e fermi level energy value is this one so directly take this put these two value this is our equation gc value is what this is your gc value okay and f of e value is what this is your f of e value and take the integration we are finding for the conduction band this is your valence band so what is the energy this is your ec level and this is energy so ec2 infinite so the integration is ec2 infinite and del e. now try to simplify it 1 by 2 pi square this is constant this is also constant so take before the integration and take the integration and now this is the logarithmic techniques like log a plus log b so can we write log a b same technique this is your e minus e f can i add plus e c and minus e c both are same now so it's seemly e minus e c subtractive and e c minus e f add it so that's why both term are different and now check e c and e f this is the constant term so can we write before the integration and now use this integration try to make a gamma function so assume n is equal to e by e c by k t just assume this so it's become exponentially exponentially minus n and here what we have n to the power one half this is your gamma function everyone know the gamma function value or integration is root pi by 2 so just simplify this equation that value is what that value is root pi divided by 2 and now simplify it pi square that means pi to the power 2 and root pi that means pi to the power 1 half this cancel the 1 half power so it becomes 3 by 2 so pi raised to 3 by 2 and rest of the things are same here okay so this is your equation and now replace m with uh, a help of m of n that is mass of electron so just replace it this is your equation and in this equation these things are constant these things so just replace with the constant of nc so this is the equation or we can say this is the equation of concentration of electron in your conduction band it depends on ec and ef just put the value of ec ef and temperature you got the idea how many number of electrons are present in the conduction band up to this you got six out of six marks in this question okay this is for a revision purpose that's why i am going through some quickly revision point of view okay otherwise these things you already know how to derive it and what are the meaning of these kind of functions next important question regarding this chapter find out the position of fermi level in intrinsic and extrinsic 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 that means n type and p type both in the proper diagram so at the end you have to draw this diagram but in the six marks you have to explain how these diagrams comes or what are the equation 
for this diagrams so this is your conduction band valence band everyone know in intrinsic that means pure semiconductor material the fermi level is exactly on the middle for the n type if electrons are more that means your fermi level is near to the conduction band and if p type that means hole is more so your fermi level is near to the valence band but how these things comes let's try to find out first of all we already know number of electrons ni in conduction band and pi number of holes in pi so just equivalent these both equation right directly this is the equation of ni and pi so equivalent both 2 and 3 so what happened see logically this mn and this mp both are not same but for the simplification process we are taking both as the same so these things are cancel out exponential exponential cancel cancel out kt kt are cancel out and the simplification is what ef is ec plus ev by 2 suppose this is your ec level and this is your ev level so take then average that means exactly at the middle point that means this is your ef level i am talking for a intrinsic semiconductor material that means pure semiconductor got the idea now next let's try to find out for electron concentration this is the equation simplified uh, divide it n by nc is equal to this remove the exponential so take ln both side ln and ln exponential are cancel out and write down ec minus ef by kt is equal to this okay and now just multiply this kt to right hand side so we got this now check if i am talking about electron concentration that means if i am talking about n type material if number is more that means this value is less that means what that means suppose this is your ec level and this is your ec uh, ev level so ec minus ef if n is more so this value suppose this is your ef so this value is very less comparable to this value that means what your fermi level is near to the conduction band and similarly using this equation divide it and try to simplify the same technique divide it and take the log both side we got this if hole is more that means what uh, same diagram ec and this is your ev but if p is more ef minus ev that means it is here so ef minus ev value is little bit less so for a p type material the fermi level is near to the valence band at the end you have to draw this diagram because this is the very important in the intrinsic pure semiconductor ef is exactly center that means ec minus ef and ef minus ev both are equal for n type ef is near to the conduction band why because ec minus ef value is little bit less than ef minus ev and for a p type ef minus ev is less than this is less than the ec minus ef that means p type the fermi level is near to the valence band and uh, up to this if you are able to draw this diagram and some equation you got six out of six marks again okay so only these three question you can write also this both are equal uh, this num n is greater than p for n type and uh, for p type p is greater than n and that's why these fermi level position in the intrinsic n type and p type semiconductor material so only these three questions are important question from the band theory and semiconductor material what the idea so thank you very much to all to provide a support for our channel physics ki drishti and best of luck to all of you thank you thank you very much